Lawyers for Carles Puigdemont say the former Catalan president will not return to Spain to testify in the national court on Thursday but has instead has agreed to testify from Brussels. Related Puigdemont speaks from Brussels to act with liberty and security The court accused Puigdemont of rebellion, sedition and embezzlement against the Spanish crown on Monday when he was also summoned to answer questions at week's end in a court in Madrid regarding his involvement in the Catalonia independence elections on October 1 and his part in the Catalonia Parliament's declaration of independence on Friday. Puigdemont agreed to testify from Belgium where he travelled earlier in the week. His lawyer, Paul Beaker, told the Associated Press that under Spanish law defendants can take questions from outside of Spain. Also under Spanish law, the court could issue an arrest warrant for Puigdemont if he fails to appear in court. The former Catalan president has said he would not seek asylum in the European Union capital, while EU diplomats have said they would not grant asylum because it would provoke an immediate political crisis between Belgium and Europe. Puigdemont traveled to Brussels with six former Catalan legislators to act with liberty and security away from threats from Spain. The former leader said in a press conference he will return immediately to Spain only when the government provides certain conditions for his return. From Brussels, he accused the Spanish government of seeking revenge rather than justice regarding the now 12 month old heightened push for Catalan independence. Related Catalan leaders face possible rebellion and sedition charges in total Puigdemont and 13 others, including all former members of the Catalan Parliament Bureau have been accused of sedition and rebellion and have been called to testify this week. A judge will decide if the accused should go to jail pending a potential trial. In the meantime, Spanish prosecutors requested that the court demand $7.2 million from each of the accused for potential liabilities. After Catalonia declared independence Friday, Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy dissolved the Catalan parliament, fired all leaders and called for new regional elections, set to take place December 21. Puigdemont accepted the new elections as a democratic challenge announcing that pro-independence parties will take part in the elections with all its strength. Puigdemont's failure to appear in court starting tomorrow could jeopardize his chance to run, however. Catalan parties have until November 5 to name general representative delegates, and until November 7 to name provincial delegates, according to the Electoral Council.